Hi, I'm Mark Tewart, and thanks for tuning in to our video series number 14 today, Poor Communication, of this series, Why Dealerships Struggle. When you look at failing businesses or struggling businesses, especially automotive dealerships, there is very, very poor communication. People just expect that everybody knows their job or what to do, when to do, how to do it, or more importantly, why to do it. When the why gets strong, the how gets easy. And if you are teaching people the why, all of a sudden they start to take ownership of their own on the how, the what, the when. But often we think that somebody who's been doing their job for a long time knows how to do it. They don't. You've got to recover everything you want. You've got to talk about all your expectations. You have to communicate every single day all the way through the channels. And then you have to go back and make sure that they understand those communications. They've received those communications and you're talking about every little thing. When I go into a struggling dealership to do consulting or training, I always find that the leaders are just um, uh, thinking that things have been communicated or that it is known. Well, let me tell you, things aren't known and things fester. And people start getting upset about what they think somebody else is thinking or why they think they're doing something and often, if we would just communicate on a daily basis through your management meetings, which I call war board meetings, your save-a-deal meetings, and communicating when you desk deals, communicating every single hour on what you're doing, communicating through your meetings. Example, there are three types of meetings in a dealership, an informational, educational, and motivational. Don't mix them up. Don't get in on a Monday meeting and start beating people up for an informational meeting. You're going to take people down. But you do want to communicate, not just in those formal meeting environments, but you want to communicate one-on-one -on -one with a group and constantly through written procedures. If it's worth being said, if it's worth being done, write it down. The more that it's formalized, executed, communicated, the more it's going to happen. I'm Mark Tewart. Make sure you tune in to the rest of our video series. Also go to my newsletter, get my newsletter at my website at tewart.com. You can call us at 888-2-TOURT, and as always, here's to you and good selling.